No way. Like, I don't want to toot my own horn, but toot? What? Oh my god. What's going on, everyone? Hey, what's going on? No, don't say that. Doing intros is impossibly hard. Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today you are balancing on a sugar pot, which is very apt because today we're gonna to be doing some Christmas baking. This video was originally gonna be baking a cake for hitting 10,000 subscribers. Have I mentioned I hit 10,000 subscribers? I'm like ridiculously grateful and also kind of confused, but I'm gonna take it nonetheless. But I can't find my cake tin, so this is actually just gonna be a loaf cake, as in a square loaf. So not really a cake, well, kind of a cake. It's up to interpretation. Okay, hey, it's me from about an hour in the future. I just came on to say that this recipe is on my Instagram. So for the full details, go on over there. Just a little plug from me. Enjoy, enjoy the video. Of course, I'm gonna make a Christmas theme, so it's gonna be chai, chai spice. And as always with me, I am making it up. <laughs> I do have a few ideas in my head. I made a note of them, I wrote them down. Don't know if it's gonna go well, but we're gonna see. <laughs> Fingers crossed. This is me writing the recipe. What I kind of do is, I go off like recipes that I've baked previously and I use them as reference just for like the ratio of flour and things. So I think I'm gonna do like a mixture. I think I'll use buckwheat for this one. And I know that buckwheat is quite a dense flour so you need to mix it with something a bit lighter. Anyway, this is a bit of baking science for you. One, two, cut. Anyway, cut back to me doing something else. We're gonna start by lining the pan. Hang on. You wanna get some oil down. And then, oh my God, I just have enough. I only have the smallest amount of baking paper left. Just my luck. Oh, it's perfect. Someone was really on my side today. Check it out. What the heck? It's like I planned it. I didn't, I didn't. So I'm gonna be using buckwheat as my main flour for this. I love like the nutty sort of nutty flavor it gives. <laughs> Listen, I never said I was the best at describing things, but um, yeah, buckwheat's great. Buckwheat is great. It will come as no surprise to you that I shall be using the KitchenAid. This is a great present if you want to like splash out and treat someone or if you want to put this on your Christmas list. It's a little bit late for that, but if you're a keen baker, I need to stop doing that. It's, this isn't even mine. I just use it all the time. That's why I love living at home. I wanted to talk about that actually. Still living at home in your 20s and feeling like you're a bit of a failure. I feel like it's such a stigma to still be living at home, especially after you've graduated, you feel like you should be moving on to a different part of your life now. It's difficult times for everyone. And I just want people to know that it's okay. I know so many people who are in the same situation as I am, and we're all just getting through this together. Your time will come. Life happens at different rates for some people. And for the moment, it's actually great to be able to stay at home, be in a warm, comfortable house, and be able to save, you know, a little bit more money than I would if I would be like renting somewhere. But to be honest, I can't even afford to rent <laughs> at the moment, but it's okay. And you can dedicate this time to sort of learning new things and maybe developing new skills that will help you get further in life. You can take like an online class and like add that to your CV. A new skill for you. So the second flour I'm gonna be using is almond flour. Almond flour is great paired with something more dense like this. It's also just really tasty and really high fat. So it gives it a lot of moisture without adding like extra butter or anything. So I recommend baking with almond flour. Baking powder and baking soda, they do different jobs. Don't ask me to explain what they do. <laughs> Only a little bit of baking soda. I think I'm gonna do double the amount of baking powder. So I'm just gonna go with a smidgen. And I'm actually gonna put in more cinnamon than looks appropriate. Ah, oh, do you remember the cinnamon challenge? Good times. Apart from not really good times, not at all. Oh, I love ginger. A bit of mixed spice. I love this. So, that was quite a bit. Dudes, I forgot to add the sugar. I think I'm gonna go for about a cup of sugar. Like I want it to be a sweet cake. That's the whole point of a cake, which um, reminds me. So I posted a cake recipe on my Instagram the other day and someone asked, "Is can we substitute the sugar for anything? Is the sugar optional? And I went, well, it's kind of essential for like the flavor. And it would defeat the whole point of making a cake if you didn't have the sugar. And then she said, and I don't, and I don't want to shame her or anything for not wanting to eat sugar. But I think part of having a healthy relationship with food is being able to eat things like sugar when you're making a cake. Because otherwise, what's the point in making a cake? I just have to say it. No one is saying it's a health food or it makes you feel amazing. I don't think I know anyone who says, oh yeah, sugar actually 
makes my body feel great. But it does make you happy and happiness is a huge part of wellness and being healthy. That's just a fact. And it's Christmas time. It honestly made me sad when she sent me that message. Um, yeah, it's just sugar. Wait, it's snowing. I'm just in my cupboard, by the way. I have made the executive decision to make this a vegan cake just because I know I have a lot of people who are plant-based who follow me on Instagram and do you know what? It's so easy to make things vegan so why wouldn't you do it and they taste just as good. Don't judge a vegan bake. My birthday cake was vegan and it's like the nicest cake that I've made. The key here is applesauce, okay? Okay? You heard. This is applesauce in German. The amazing thing about applesauce is it makes things <laughs> Oh, come on, <laughs> don't show me up. This is why I need to start with weights, which incidentally, I'm trying to do. My dad brought me a 15 kilo kettlebell over. So I know 15 kilos isn't a lot, but you know, I'm a novice, I'm a novice, I'll work up. This is my greatest enemy at the moment. <laughs> whatever, move on, move on. Me, me, yeah, whatever. The great thing about applesauce is, well, threefold. It gives it another element of sweetness, it gives it moistness, and it binds it so it works like an egg. It's kind of like a magic ingredient. I am gonna get vanilla. I always have vanilla. And um, just a pro tip, a lot of vanilla isn't like actual vanilla, so just check the ingredients of your vanilla, because a lot of times it's just inverted sugar syrup and vanilla flavor. So you wanna get it as close to vanilla as possible. I know it's expensive, but so this one is actually water, ethanol, and vanilla extract, so it does actually have vanilla in it, which you'd expect that. But surprisingly, a lot of them don't. At least a teaspoon. Probably two. Mm. <laughs> I am the only one who uses that, by the way, so it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna say a cup of milk. I'm actually gonna say a cup of buttermilk. To make a vegan buttermilk, you basically just add apple cider vinegar to a plant milk and let it curdle and you can't taste the apple cider vinegar don't worry i can't even find it la, 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 la. i also love adding yogurt to my cakes because a little bit goes a long way and it just really changes the texture only about a quarter of a cup it's a thick batter i think i'm gonna add a splash more milk a tiny bit more oh my god that's so good dudes I've already preheated my oven because I'm forward thinking and sensible. Obviously vegan batter means I accidentally left, you know, loads of batter in here purely by accident. Matching as if I don't eat non-vegan batter. But I've never known anyone to be ill after eating batter. Mm. I get asked all the time whether I'm vegan. Obviously, if you've seen my full week of eating videos, I eat heavily plant-based. I feel good eating that way. I know it benefits a lot of the environment eating that way. I've just found a nice balance and I feel the best this way. And as long as I'm making a positive contribution, I think that's the best that we all can do. As long as we're all conscious consumers, I think that's a good thing. But I think for me personally, just living without a label is the best way to go. I asked on my community tab what you wanted me to talk about. And a lot of people were saying sort of like mental health tips and activities to cope during quarantine. So I definitely say I like how to stay sane in lockdown if you're still in that situation. We're technically still in a lockdown. We're in tier three, which is the highest tier you can be in. So lots of rules on our way of living. So to counteract that, I'd say don't focus on things that you can't control. Focus on things that are within your control. So you can learn things, you can make things, you can still talk to people, you can still to the best of your ability, keep in touch with your friends and loved ones. You can still have those good times, you can still make memories. It'll just be harder and maybe virtual, but just try and focus on the positives because it can be so draining when all of your thoughts are going towards what you can't do. It's just a negative headspace to be in. I would also recommend as, um, I don't know, as sort of superficial as it sounds, treat yourself, like buy yourself something. You get a natural serotonin release when you make like a nice purchase for yourself. And, depending on what the purchase is, it can be really beneficial to your life. Like, for example, buying a light box which really helps with seasonal affective disorder. Basically it's just like light therapy which helps with balancing out your circadian rhythm and stops you from getting those winter blues. Obviously, not 100%. It's like a gift for yourself. Someone asked me, what are your Christmas plans? My Christmas plans are just to spend it with my family. We have a family bubble of my dad, my mum and my sister. Thankfully we live in three households and we are allowed to combine to make one 
Christmas bubble and we're probably just gonna watch loads of films. Actually, I'll tell you what we have booked. We booked a drive-in cinema to sit in our car and watch The Grinch. Hello, heaven. How fun is that gonna be? More tips for your mental health. Have a cleanse of your social media. If that means unfollowing loads of people who don't benefit you, or if that means deleting the app entirely, do what's best for you. Also try baking. Take up baking, it's very cathartic. Hobbies outside of cooking and baking. I've had crap my head. How long have I had that on my head for? I love anything creative. So I love writing, big movie buff. I also love gaming, like I'm a big gamer. Always have been. I'm really loving the Game Pass this season on Xbox. Being productive when you feel like you're emotionally drained. I feel like it's your body saying, give yourself a break so you don't always have to be productive. And once you've had a sufficient break, then you'll feel more motivated to be productive. But tips for being productive in general, I feel making lists, always making lists, setting timers to get jobs done by. So say you want to have your room tidied, set a timer, maybe 30 minutes, and then you'll be less inclined to take breaks and maybe procrastinate and do something else. Cause you've got that 30 minute timer, you've got an end goal. It'll give you more drive to get it finished within that time. And then you'll feel really accomplished and it's great. I ended up putting it in for about 35 minutes. She's got to cool now before I ice her, but bloody hell, she smells amazing. Frosting, icing, is just gonna be some coconut the yogurt. The thicker the better, ladies and gents. With, I don't know how much, maple syrup. Has it had time to cool? No. Am I gonna ice it? Yes. Look at that. Come on. It's pretty thick. I may have to get some more coconut yogurt. I'll make it work, I'll make it work. She smells amazing. Okay, I never get it right. I think I'm gonna go for... <clears throat> no. <laughs> oh, she's so soft. I've gotta have a slice or two right now. What time is it? Half 11, that's fine. Can we talk about the fact that this is gluten-free and vegan? What? Guys. <laughs> now that I've taken some pictures, I am gonna eat one. I have to. Do you know I love doing this? in front of a big open window where people walk past. I actually, what? No way. Pretend I didn't just do that dance. But these, that's better than like a non-gluten-free, non-vegan cake. Bro, oh my God. Like I don't want to toot my own horn, but toot. Oh my God. I think all that's left for me to say is thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace out. Peace out.